Hello everyone, welcome back to another math lesson. This time we're going to be talking about relating fractions and whole numbers to each other. So, we're going to start out with a number, another number line as such. And, oh remember, take notes along with me, okay? So, we have a number line here. I started zero fourths. I look up here, that just means zero. Anything, zero over anything is just going to equal zero. So I start with th zero. I'm counting, just like in our last video, I'm counting by fourths. So I count one fourth, two fourths, three fourths. That just brings me to one. So kind of like I said before, any number over itself is just going to equal what? Just one. Any number over itself equals one. 7,922 over 7,922 equals what? 1. Any number over itself just equals 1. So if I'm looking here, that's just one jump. And these are in between. So fractions are in between our whole numbers. Kind of like helps to see it on the number line, right? Okay, let's see what our next note is. Okay, now we're going to look at it in terms of shapes. Kind of going back to what we did a couple of sections ago. Okay, each shape is one whole. So this is a whole shape, and this is a whole shape. So it says there are two holes. How many parts are shaded, though? How many parts are shaded in each one? So when we're looking at this, we first need to decide how many are in each shape. How many parts are in each shape? One, two, three, four. Okay, that's when we, when we're writing fractions for this, we need to first decide what our denominator is going to be. So our denominator, I want to write the fraction, our denominator is how many pieces was, e was one shape split into. So one shape was split into how many? Four pieces, right? So that's going to be our denominator. How many parts are shaded total? So let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight parts are shaded. Okay, so let's look to that. That's going to be our numerator. Eight parts are shaded, and each shape is split into fourths. So our fraction for this picture is eight fourths. So another way we can write two is what? Eight over four, eight fourths, because I have eight fourths colored in. So let me show you a little closer. This is a fourth, that's a fourth, that's a fourth, that's a fourth, okay, that's four fourths, right? Which equals one. Look at this one. That's five fourths, that's six fourths, seven fourths, eight fourths, which equals Two. So two is also in a fraction form eight over four or eight fourths. Does that make sense? Let's try another one. Okay, this one's a little different. First, we need to decide how many whole shapes do we have. How many whole shapes do I have? Let's see. One, two, three. I have four whole shapes. Okay. Divide it into how many equal parts. How many equal parts are these shaded or are these divided into? Well, just look at one shape. One, two. They're all divided into how many equal parts? Two, right? So that's what I'm in right here. Okay. So my denominator, it's like this. If I'm picking up my fraction or I'm deciding what my fraction is going to be. My denominator needs to be the same for all of these. So my denominator is how many they're splitting each shape into. Well, we said they split each shape into two parts, right? So that's my denominator. My numerator, if we think about my last one, we have to count how many shapes are shaded in. Because our numerator counts how many are being counted, how many are being shaded in in this case. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this time, our fraction is 8 halves. We'd say it like that, 
8 halves. And let's look back here. That makes sense because we know that these are all split in half, right? So the half part makes sense to us. Let's count and make sure we have 8 of those. So this is 1 half. That's 2 halves, which equals 1. 3 halves. 4 halves, which equals 2 whole shapes. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4. 6 halves. Seven, wait, no. I messed up. 1, 2, 3, 4. 5 halves. 6 halves, which equals 3. And 7 halves. And 8 halves, which equals what? 4. So I have 8 halves shaded in. Okay. Let's try this one out. Okay. Start with our denominator. Denominator, only look at one shape. So cover one shape. Ask yourself in the de denominator, in my whole shape right here, how many parts do I have? How many parts are being counted? One, two, three three, right? So that's going to be my numerator. It's like in our number line problems, like in this one, for example, our denominator, our bottom number stayed the same. The four didn't change. So in this problem, that denominator needs to be the same for both, right? They both are divided into three. That's going to be our denominator. Okay, we need to figure out how many pieces are colored in how many pieces we are counting so in each shape one two three four five six that's my numerator so my numerator is six my denominator is three we say this as six thirds so two is the same thing as six thirds or six over three and our division knowledge is coming into play because we know 6 divided by 3 is what? 2. So that kind of works out. Okay, but that would make sense to us. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 of these guys. 6 thirds. Each one of these is a third, and we have 6 of them. So it is 6 thirds. Okay, let's try this one. And this one's a little different because there's no um, fraction line, right? There's no we're not dividing it into any um, smaller number. So this one, we need to ask ourselves how many equal parts are each shape split into? Well, if we think about it, this is an equal part and that's an equal part, right? So it's one. Okay. And then how many are shaded in? One, two. So our Fraction for 2 is 2 over 1. And remember, kind of going back to the division 2, 2 divided by 1 is what? 2. Anything divided by itself is itself. So 2 divided by 1 equals 2. That makes sense to us. So you guys have a few more of these to practice. Actually, you know what? Let's do one more together. Let me pause it, and then we'll do one more as practice, and then you're on your own. All right, you guys ready for one more? I want you guys to try this one on your own, and then we'll check it, okay? So, I have three whole shapes. That's why three is right here. I have one whole shape. I have two. I have three. That's why three is right there. Okay. First things first. Look at one shape. Let's look at this one. We need to decide what our denominator is going to be, what each shape is being split into. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we're working in this case with sixths. So that's our denominator. Okay. Now our next step is figure out our numerator. How many in each whole shape are being counted? So we know they're being counted because they're shaded in. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So our fraction is 18 sixths. 3 equals 18 sixths. Going back to division, how are these two related to each other? Isn't 18 
divided by 6, 3. So we know that our answer is correct, right? 18 sixths equals 3 and vice versa. Okay. Remember, I'm always here to Zoom with you if you need help, Flipgrid. Um, you can email me for help for you know, a little bit more explanation. But I think you guys will be good at this. I think you guys are really understanding fractions from what I can see. So keep that up. Um, great job on your work last week. And keep up your hard work on everything. And I will see you guys so soon.